Hello, my friend. I want to thank you very much if you have given to Positive Christianity this past year. You realize, I hope you realize, that you're the ones that make this all possible. We're the most unique ministry, I believe, in the world. Because we don't ask people to join us. We don't try to convert them. It's about us joining them. It is about us making their daily walk in their own religious path better. And I pray that you realize that this is a, a, an effort that is based on expanding your territory. Versus being a small unit, we prayed in the very beginning the prayer of Jabez that we could expand our territory. I'm going to share that with you today and how you can do that in your own life. Now, twice a year, July and at the end of the year, we ask you to prayerfully consider giving back to Positive Christianity, supporting our work that is entering our 19th year, providing daily written and video prayer, positive daily inspiration, and positive written sermons for churches around the world. To make a donation credited to this talent calendar year, do so by midnight on the 31st or send us a check dated before 2018 and your thank you letter will reflect the 2017 offering date even if we receive it after the first. An instant one-time donation or reoccurring set up easily is at www.positivechristianity.org forward slash donate pc dot htm or by mail Positive Christianity Box 7993 Woodlands, Texas 77380. Now let me talk about expanding your territory. First Chronicles 4 verse 10. It talks about the prayer of Jabez. Jabez called out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that it will not hurt me, and God granted what he asked. The prayer of Jabez. I invite you to pray this every day in 2018. You'll be amazed at how much it changes your life. Dear God, bless me and expand my territory. Let your hand be with me, Keep me from harm so that it will not hurt me. And God, please grant what I ask. As people, we are conditioned to think small. People actually think it's safer to think small. God is thinking big about you and your possibilities. I guarantee you that God thinks bigger about you than you think about you. Now, I talk about this in detail on today's Positive Daily Inspiration. You can read that and also the history of positive Christianity. And uh, if you're not receiving yet, you can see it on Facebook or you can see it on our website, positivechristianity.org, under archives. If you're not receiving Positive Daily Inspiration, sign up. Do so now. Go to our website. It is free of charge. It will always be free of charge. And that's, uh, thank God, to our donors. I talk about this being the 19th year, but it's the 19th year in this form. We actually formed... Positive Christianity 34 years ago at a small church in Rockford, Illinois in 1983. It was an effort to expand our territory. We were at a small church, but we wanted to 
at that time, our vision was to go national. Now, this isn't to, to make Chris into a star or anything. I could care less about that. But my idea is I have one life here and I want to serve God and I want to serve as many people as I possibly can. Well, our first idea was the Good Life newspaper. It was printed at a local newspaper. Remember how all towns used to have local newspapers? And uh, it was a small newspaper. They often had free presses that weren't... um, running at the time, so you could rent the presses. And we rented it to print the Good Life newspaper, the first publication of Positive Christianity. By the end of doing that, we had a distribution of 105,000. Now, now that doesn't seem like much, but back then it was huge because every single one of those was mailed. And uh, I can't even begin to tell you in this short message what a job that was to mail out those newspapers, the weight, the cost. And it, uh, it had great success. And we had ministers send in tapes. Remember those? Cassette tapes. And we would transcribe those tapes of their sermons and make them into articles for the paper. We had some of the greats in that newspaper. Also in that newspaper, Prayer America was introduced. Uh, Now it's still called Prayer America. It's actually not a great name now because we go way beyond the boundaries of America with our prayer. Miracles are natural to God. But you have free will on how big or small those miracles will be in your life. And you can have something that is huge in your ability to let your light shine if you are willing to expand your territory. Well, when I say its its first incarnation was 34 years ago, we actually stopped for a while I was selected to be the senior minister of a world headquarters of a church organization in late uh, 1987. And it was because of the unbelievable success of the Good Life newspaper. And when I was selected to do this, of course, they wanted me to cease publication Uh, because they wanted me to serve them. And it was right, and I did so, and I loved doing so for 11 years that followed. I remember in the 1990s, Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, the author of The Power of Positive Thinking, and his dear wife, Ruth, we were together, and we talked about positive Christianity, and we talked about my dreams of expanding my territory again once I left my current ministry. I still have a picture with uh, Dr. Peel hanging in my office of that last time that we were together. I have never taken any credit for positive Christianity, and if you're one of my friends, you know I'm telling the truth. I am as amazed as anybody what has happened, what continues to happen, and I am the least tech person in the whole world. Uh, I really don't understand what's happening or how it works. I'm thankful when it does work. When it doesn't work, I have no idea what to do. It's all God. God made this happen. It was one miracle after another miracle All that I had to do is consent to expand my territory. And that is what you have to do. You have to consent and be willing to live larger than you're living now. A salesperson knows the value of a larger territory. You must also know the value of a larger territory in your life. 
it all goes down to faith. How big is your faith? Don't limit yourself because God doesn't limit you. God thinks a lot bigger than you about your future. In years of counseling, I have observed that people looking for employment, it's almost astonishing how small they limit their territory. Uh, sometimes a few blocks, sometimes a few miles. And often it's like fishing from a dried out pond. I have observed people that are searching for their perfect soulmate limit their territory to a small geographical circle. The self-created territorial boundary lines are often very small. It takes real bravery to, to pray to God to expand your territory. Many people believe falsely that they're only safe within their small geographical territorial, self-imposed lines. Birds migrate to find food. Sometimes we must also. Pray the prayer of Jabez tomorrow morning, and then the next morning, and then the next. Oh,